Look at your best boy chat. Look at best boy. Look at this. Look at this. Thank you, Q2. Gorgeous. So that's that's the real version. And then this is the the Mad Bake stream meme version. Which I think did the official like Twitter of the game like like it? They saw it, which is just like <laughs> what the fuck did they think of that? <laughs> Cause I mean even with context <laughs> You know what I mean? Even with context. <laughs> Talk to Kim. We should think about calling it a day, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. I haven't paid the cafeteria manager for damages yet. You should take care of that then. But I don't have the money. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the streets. We'll figure something out. Though he finds the situation frustrating, he is doing his best to make you, to not make you feel any worse than you already do. Aw, oh, Kim's such a bro. Shake your hand, don't shake your hand. Okay, um, so we're supposed to like set her off balance. So let's not shake her hand. She's unfazed by your rudeness, probably chalking it up to a local custom. Oh, it didn't work. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. You're on a boat. <laughs> you seem rich, can I have some money? Is what you want to say, but it isn't that easy, is it? What, why not? Look at that lady, take a gander, squint your eyes, bub. Now look at you, you misery-clad simian, barely able to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of booze precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. You're poor, poor as balls. You can't ask this person for money. You're too. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. Yes, I do. <laughs> You have the guns and the ammo. Take this class and fiend down. <laughs> Let's talk about the econ economics of this boat you're on. Go in for the kill. <laughs> oh my, the E word. She crosses her arms. You mean to say that it's a symbol of conspicuous consumption? That I'm a member of the ruling class? Yes, exactly. Precisamundo, class wartime, baby. As I said, plenty of people drive boats of all social strata. Ooh, reaction speed challenging. Fire back, quick. All right, all right. Oh no. Oh, double ones. Um, she takes a sip. It's gonna happen. Okay, she takes. <laughs> Something is about to happen, point to your head, in here. <laughs> of course, nothing happens for quite a while. They will come from my head, the arguments, wave your hand next to your head, it will help. And it doesn't, keep waving your hand slowly. My, she inspects the motion. It's as if there is a tiny spinner on the side of his head and he's reeling thoughts out. Except he isn't. The lieutenant is satisfied with where this is going. A thought is going to come out of my head and into my mouth, and I will say it. Keep doing it. It's <laughs> keep. <laughs> lieutenant, I truly don't understand what is happening here. I told you his methods are unconventional. I swear to God, I'm usually sharp. I don't know what happened. Why am I not killing it? Your marble marbles on glass, dear. Don't worry. I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year the company booked more than 20 billion, billion real in revenue. Wow, that's it? I thought Wild Pines was supposed to be big time. Numbers like that mean nothing to me. <laughs> the money I owe is so much less. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go. Yes, past a certain point, numbers begin to seem imaginary, but they are quite real for the 72,000 employees who depend on Walpines for their paychecks. Okay, we need to make a decision, chat. Is Yusuke, does Yusuke believe in capitalism or not? I kind of feel like he would. I know that sounds strange. I kind of feel like Yusuke would secretly be a capitalist and wouldn't like communism. I kind of feel like he would. No, he's an artist, damn. Damn, there's a lot of prejudice in chat right now about artists. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just, I just, when I, when I think of Yusuke, I don't get a, like, like a communist vibe from him. I like it. You understand what he's saying. I like it. Then you might also like their other slogan, 
demand democracy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Nope, that's weak. Not hard communist enough for me. <laughs> See, he would say, nope, that's weak, agreeing with the intent, but not liking it as a slogan. Um... Yeah, let's go with that. The information I'm, I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we don't know that. <laughs> of course, man, we should have introduced ourselves. Lieutenant Hanser, her, her piece of blue plastic. I'm Lieutenant Katsurugi from Precinct 57. He points to you, and this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. She returns to the lieutenant's badge. She returns to the lieutenant's badge and turns to you. Why is that, detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. Twas stolen by some artist, surely. Best to pin the blame on them. Everyone knows you can't trust artists. Sh why should I blame it on an artist? Some artist type stole my badge. It was a mistake to trust them. Remember when my partner told you I'd recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? My, my lost badge is related to it. Why should I blame it on an artist? Everyone knows you can't trust artists. They're nearly as bad as clowns. Some da damn clown stole it from me. It's a long story. <laughs> What? Pities your boat failure? <laughs> Sympathy for your amnesia? <laughs> Look at the spinners. I get it. I would have confiscated them too. They're mesmerizing. That they are. <laughs> Lieutenant looks at the spinners in size. I was going to take them into evidence, but they weren't necessary for conviction. He never asked. He never asked them back. Um... Did you want to put these spinners on your machine? Point to the point at Kinema. No, no, that would be silly. I just, he hesitates. I don't know why I kept them. It doesn't matter. I couldn't put them on the, this MC anyway. A cop with spinners, that would be outrageous. Yes, outrageously cool. <laughs> he watches a smile. Rhetoric. Hey, psst, look around. Who, me? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Again? How come there's word on the street? Again? Yes, you've, you're you ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before. Hasn't really worked out yet, but it either has love. <laughs> should we just stop building love too? Can't argue with that. Yes, we should all stop building love. Love has worked out really well for me. I'm a love winner. Good. We need tender men like you building gargantuan communism. Word on the street is it's going to be 10,000 times larger than any communism previously attempted by human beings. Is that right? This is this is exactly how it works in real life. Once you start get, getting communist, communist thoughts, this is exactly what happens. You hear the voice in your head and that's it. You're gone. How come there's word on the street? You keep saying things like, down with the bourgeois, eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impale all people who have more than 25 real in their pocket, literally murder all human beings regardless of their political beliefs, that kind of stuff. All right, that sounds like me. I haven't said anything like that. I've said some mildly left-wing things, but none of those. <laughs> Oh yes, the mask of ambivalence. Don't deny it, you're about to rip it off and reveal the monstrous seven-eyed lamb of global communism that will devour and masticate mankind. Fuck, I'm I'm convinced. Now get to work, comrade. I'm convinced. Oh yeah, get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. Wait, firing squads? You didn't say anything about those. Too late to back out now. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few million eggs. Roll your sleeves up further and breathe in the pristine air. Finish thought. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. <laughs> Quite the collection indeed. Typical vacuous co consumerist objects. Honestly, I think some of your selections are... Press your finger to your, to your lips. More tasteful than others. This business plan is all over the place. You should specialize. Zoom in. Recapitalize, says the communist. It keeps me entertained. His attention is drawn once more to the play of light and shadow on the walls behind you. Challenging. 12. Is Roy high? And if yes, then what is he on? Yes! Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement of light while the mind continues stories forward? Lucky bastard, he's probably on Pier Holodon. It's tough to come by on the street. Pier Holodon? What is that? 
a drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects and it makes your eyes turn yellow. Is it just me or is it really warm in here? Look around, step closer. Sir, could you take off your sunglasses? I'd like to check your eyes. Get straight to the point. So, where does a man get <laughs> pure holodonies? <laughs> <laughs> oh my good number three he takes a step back studying you how would i know there's a note of indignation in his voice interesting it's pretty obvious that you're under the influence sir no judgment just curious i probably did loads of pirolodon before i lost my memory chill out man i'm a chill out cop who just wants some of what you're having wink to there's something i'd like to sell let me have a look uh i like to sell my clothes i have a fascinating photo of a <laughs> I'll check, my <laughs> I'll check my pockets, access your fallen menu. Ah, uh, shit. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh, God. Lieutenant shifts from one feet to another, alert. Wait, I sold you my gun? What's the buyer? A policeman, too? When I said I don't normally buy firearms, you put the gun barrel in your mouth and sort of sucked on it. <laughs> Then I agreed to take it. Here's the 60 real you need for your bill. Do not waste it. The rest goes into his pocket. No, you only need to give me 40 whatever. Like, we already had some. The rest is for him to compensate for the pain of being separated from his radiant spinners. The windfall is a small consolation. I feel really bad. Poor Kim. Well, your fault for not getting the money in a different way. I, I woke up drunk into this life. I never asked for this. We didn't start the fire. Look at this shit. Look. Look. Look how much of a sorry cop we are. We're really sorry. I have your money. He goes to you suspiciously. Well, here's the real. Slam the bills down on the counter. I hope you choke on it. Here it is. Sorry for the trouble. How did you get so cool, Kim? <laughs> the light of a cigarette illuminates a fleeting smile. You mean this? He flicks Ash, this isn't cool. It's an unnecessary trial of will and uh, an end unhealthy. Right then, the debrief returned to it. I would say our initial inspection was very thorough, and we have solid leads to follow up on. Then you shot him in the chest, which wasn't ideal. <laughs> we we stopped to get him down from the tree. <laughs> By not ideal, he means we can't. He can't believe he'd let you try that trick, and would be angry if he didn't feel the outcome was partly his responsibility. I just wanted to make sure he was really did. I admit, I'm a little out of practice. I still can't believe I missed that shot. Being sober tends to help with precision, but moving on to the new. Hey, I'm stone cold sober. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the running? You have run a lot. Is that a standard precinct 41 practice? I don't know why I do the things I do, Lieutenant <laughs> Kusaragi. <laughs> Kim, do you think love can bloom in Rivashal? See you in the morning. Love you, Kim. And then sleep doesn't come, but I want to sleep. Why? Ah, oh, this just got real. Your breathing steadies, a great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images, images start forming. Oh, it's a disco ball. That's cool, I like that. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? You said who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs, between her legs and in her mouth? I left. Oh no, funky baby, you stay. With one hand on the bottle and the other on your dick, watching it go, you fail. You failed me. You failed Elysium. What is Elysium? Everything. The pale and the isolas on the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning, furious truth. 8,000 years of written history. 4.6 billion people and you failed every single one of them. You were just talking to yourself. That's all you ever do. Even in your dreams, the spots on the disco ball fade around you. I'm trying to solve, trying to solve this case. You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. There's something wrong with your thoughts. 
some kind of new type of hangover. God, there's another type. Is that how it's going to be now when I close my eyes? Yes, wait till you see the one with the chick in it. It's going to be a good one. What chick? You don't know? Some broad that messed you up. It'll come to you. It always does. Speed is a potent central nervous system stimulant. It kept you propped up all day yesterday despite your debilitating hangover. How else did you think you even got up from this floor? Opt out. Suit yourself. Slow, sad shell man. See how you do without your spark. There's really no point in manipulating anyone. She'd only be too pleased to tell you about her work. Go on and ask. Hey Lana, I'd like to hear about some of the cryptids you studied. Could you just tell me about a couple of them? Oh, I'd be delighted. Truth be told, I could really use the company too. Lieutenant throws you one of his looks. One cryptid, not a couple. One. This won't turn into some kind of cryptid extravaganza. Cryptid extravaganza? I like the sound of that. And I and I don't, just one. <laughs> Woo, tough choice there. What's the biggest cryptid? What's the tiniest cryptid? What's the most dangerous cryptid? Are there any invisible cryptids? Let's go most dangerous. The gnome of Gachroma. <laughs> she pauses for effect. The gnome of Jeroma, that sounds terrifying. Okay, let's let's conclude as as a reward for Kim for giving us the rims. Alright. Yeah. Kim, are you impressed right now? Kim, you impressed? There it is, you see a shabby little door. What is this then? A tool shed? He beaks inside. Let's investigate. Let us detect. We are detectives. There's a good there's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. Someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere. I wasn't thinking about taking it, I swear. I was thinking about justice. I've heard amph amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? The look in his eyes is a mix of an engineer-like interest and the wonder of a six-year-old seeing a horse for the first time. Motherfucker, let out a whistle. Now that's a huge crane. The cloak looks like a, ba a bag of like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets may hide? All right, this is a white check. You may retry, you may retry it. I think our clothes are giving us lower of this, right? Might as well jump naked. I like your style with the hat and tie on, though. Forty-two percent. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, we, we chickened out. These guys are so macho, they're ready to confess to first degree murder. Ask if it was them. Do a head count first. Connect these men to the tracks you saw in the yard. Chances are they're going to match. Scan the room. Starting from the right, boot size 44, blonde man in his 30s, overbearingly masculine, sitting on his right stand, a working boot size 45 or 46, eldest in the room, probably mid 50s, smoker, quiet, across the other table, hobnailed, working boot size 43, gang tattoos, massacre, Samuel Mazian, in his late 30s, early 40s. He spent his youth in Villa Bolobo, so housing project in the Jamrock Quarter, there were incarcerations, harder to say what else, the ink is fading, and then standing working boots, standing working boots, steel reinforced toes, size 46, the big dick, wide at the shoulders and lean at the hips, rugby calf, fingerless gloves, and numerous scars, a little under 40. The emblem on his vest says, Rowing Club, a little patch below it reads, T. Hardy, Captain. In the far corner, standing working boot, seal reinforced, toe size 44, 40 something, non alcoholic beverage, and a handy squint. Is that a plectrum? And the little guy's horse 41 with a lit, lit step, not a child after all. An older man with a rat face, meaning watery eyes and two front teeth missing. In the middle, heaving and wheezing, big guy, boot size 46, deep marks probably carry the victim over. He alone is 130 kilos, after the man in the army, you could easily exceed with 220. Mm -hmm. So let me get this straight there is an eighth hardy boy, and it's a she, and you don't like us talking about her. Yeah, we did this. He looks he looks you dead in the eye, together, all of us, until he was dead. That's why our prints are all over the scene. Aha! You So you just confessed to murder? That's it. The game's over. We got the perpetrator. No, you don't. What you have is seven honest men who thought it forthcoming to tell you what happened, so you don't waste, your t don't waste any more of your time. Address Titus. No, but seriously, who calls the shots around here? Who do you fucking think does? He sounds more amused and angry. Points to Titus. You do. You give the commands. Point Elizabeth. I thought she did. Point at Fat Angus. The biggest animal dominates the herd. I'm guessing it's the big one. Bow to the bearded man. Gangs are usually run by the oldest, more venerable, most venerable member. It's the eighth hardy boy, the one who's missing. The big dick. All right. So what's gonna what's gonna make him go fuck? No, I'm in charge the most. I think pointing to Elizabeth. Chat demands big dick. All right. 
A moment of silence. The long hairy one breaks it. Titus, no one was thinking that there's any question who's the leader. That's how he would have ended it. Titus won't let him. No, no, no. He shakes his head. Fuck no. The big dick is right here, asshole. You're looking at it. He grabs his crotch right fucking here. I'm Orangey's goddamn special forces and I'm gonna fuck you all. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some Orangey's paratrooper song, and said he's gonna fuck everyone. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did. Right there, he points to the stage like some kind of animal. Sire, the tale is true. <laughs> I love drama. This is a serious violation of the karaoke code. This is true. Right, but what did he actually do wrong? Okay, besides crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? Wrong, he roars. He harassed women, raped one, harassed workers, threatened to kill some as a warning. He wipes spittle from his mouth. From rape to harassment to threats of violence. Why the strange de-escalation? He regrets mentioning it. Hopes you didn't notice. To kill us all if we don't open the gates. If we don't let the scabs in. If we don't bend over. He cracks his knuckles. And that was before he started coming here. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started coming here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls. Grab one of ours mid-karaoke right there on the stage. He grabs someone. The lieutenant is trying to make sense of this flood of information. Yeah, this girl... This girl's on the mic, a beautiful young girl young, gets into the second verse of Lover Lake. The fucker grabs her leg, starts screaming, show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Then he gets knocked on the head with a wine bo bottle, doesn't even fall down. He shakes his head with disbelief. Was this the same girl who was sexually assaulted? Raped, you said? Okay, then now about the man you killed. Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything could happen. Anything else could happen. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? He repeats like a parrot. There's something odd here. Seems like they don't want to talk about that rape Titus mentioned. Why not? This is a serious allegation. Make them talk about it. Right, but who did he rape then? This is a very serious allegation. Okay then, about the man you killed. Um, no, let's push it. No, there's a moment of silence. You're not getting a name. That's a Martinese matter and I'm not discussing with you clones. Is it, is it the eighth hardy boy that's a girl? There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling you. How did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck until he got real still. Wasn't that not obvious, obvious, copper? Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school, idiot? This is where an autopsy would come in handy. You have to work with what you know. We need more. Did you muffle him? We haven't heard any reports of screams. Titus, you don't have to clarify anything. We overpowered him, dragged him unco his unconscious body to the tree, put a noose around his neck, and hanged him till he was dead and steady. Then we left him for seagulls, maggots, and small man... What? Sorry. Then we left him for seagulls, maggots, the small man points to you, and you fucks. Make them a bit more uncomfortable first, then see if it all adds up. Was he a trained killer from Orgenese Special Forces? If yes, then how did you manage to overpower... Well, there's seven, eight of them. With number, yeah, with numbers, asshole. How do you think he looks at the woman? You're right, Lizzie. I've done explaining here. No, he hasn't. Not yet. Where did this overpowering happen? Weren't you fucking listening? The fucker came to our bar. He looks around. It happened right here. All right. 42%. This is a red check. It can't, cannot be retried. I believe. I believe. Send me your energy, chat. Send me energy. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Damn. Actually, they're admirably, surprisingly composed. The entire room, given how many questions you've lobbed their way. All of them? Maybe one of them is fidgeting, cracking under the pressure. Well, this one. But he's always fidgeting, so don't get your hopes up. Right, I have other questions about the lynching. You're lucky you didn't get a, you didn't get a beating. Rent-a-cop. So that's what this is about. He doesn't see you as his equals. Scan the room. I want to talk about the hanging again. <laughs> Establish authority. Discuss it, Hardy. Week when you first met. All right, eight percent. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, close. Fuck. <laughs> Establish authority. Yes, authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. First, you tell you tell me someone's been raped, and then you don't say who. That's bullshit. Stomp your feet. I'm the only <laughs> the only thing keeping this town from going to hell and you're not helping point your finger. Turn to Lieutenant Kim, I need your gun. That's it? That's all I got? Did you already did you already try the gun thing? I hear the gun thing is excellent and has great results. 
You're probably right. The others, the others are only there for filler to make the gun thing pop. All right, let's do the gun thing. Why? That's not what he thinks. This is a great idea. Everyone, calm down. This is only a demonstration. Turn to Kim. Kim, the gun, please. What in the name of fuck are you doing? But Lieutenant looks worried. He whispers, "I don't want to give you my gun. Not after last time. The fuck is happening, Titus? What are they whispering about?" Easy, Shanks. Leader gestures for him to stand down. I want to see where this is going. Trust me, Kim. I am merely flesh. Merely what? He doesn't ca quite catch the last word. A brief moment passes in silence. Then be careful, it's loaded. He unholsters and gives you his firearm. It feels oddly light and buzzing in your hand like a funny toy. What the fuck, Kim? Good. Now put it in your <laughs> But I want to point it at them. Put the barrel in your mouth. But I want to point it at them. I want to point it at them. Fa, quit your whining. Everyone knows how to do that. You're a special man. You're going to point it at yourself. Go ahead, show them. Put the barrel in your mouth. Morale critical. What are you doing? The short, cold barrel touches your lips. It tastes like iron and hell. Fellas, this... The big guy glances over his shoulders. You getting any of this? These are my thoughts. This is my head. You will never forget what happens in five seconds. If you don't respect me, you better get ready for fucking... To fucking respect me in five, four, three. I'm not fucking this case up. Finger on the trigger. You will respect me. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself now, you fucking whore. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Give the gun back to the lieutenant. I mean, I don't I don't want to do five. I want to take the game seriously. But, like, it's end of stream. It would be a fun way to end the stream. And then we just reload it tomorrow or whatever. And, and uh, I can do it before stream starts tomorrow. It's not going to end, is it? There's no way. Deranged cop kills himself. Citizens in shock as a deranged law official reportedly from the 41st precinct shot himself in the head last night in the middle of a crowded cafeteria. <laughs> we sure showed them. The exact details of the incident have not been revealed, but first-hand witness claim witnesses claim the officer was making a point. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. Lawrence Gart, a manager of the Whirling and Rags cafeteria. Where the incident took place commented, he was extremely unstable and had threatened to kill himself before. We showed them. Check where the last save was? Where was the last save? Oh my god. Oh. Wait, do we get to do the jump again? Save before all combos? I really should. Serene, best boy. Serene. With the tie becoming more uh, animated. Look at the colors there. It's so good. Thank you, Q2. You're the angel. Have you no shame? Oh, God. Okay. Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape? Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, <laughs> let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? <laughs> ah, that is a great line these manly men are playing balls this is a ball game grab a ball and play it don't ask questions shoot first ask questions never shouldn't i ask what game it is first all right i got this ball time that's the spirit don't even waste your breath asking about the game they wouldn't know anyway they're way past their prime better observe them first Hand-eye coordination, medium, grab the ball and show them how it's done. A moment of your time, fellows. Don't get involved in the game. No, fuck that. We're playing the game. Is this what we use the shot put ball for? You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter, you'll make it work. Feel the ball. You and the ball have merged into a single entity. The man ball is ready, and you have become the shot put ball killer. Look out, Danganronpa. Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. Aw, oh, man, I don't like opinions. That's why I just, I like to be objective. That's how it should be. Soft socialists paving the way for the hard working class to take over. The fuck is a soft socialist? For Am I a soft socialist? Maybe I'm a soft socialist. Foreign powers cleaned up our mess and now they rule us. Shake your head in shame. This coalition seems quite capable, actually. The commies just don't understand how money works. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, no, they're doing that one. No, they don't. I'm sorry it had to be the coalition. After eight years of fighting rabid commies, boiling cats for food, and drinking piss in the mountains, he takes a deep breath. I would have preferred if the right honorable... It ain't easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules and you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. Oh, that's a good line. Oh, and then there's pawning stuff off to that suspicious Roy guy. <laughs> I guess I've made some gills sure. Yeah, you're in the sales business. Shake them for shit and then pawn it off. Law officer style. I guess I've got some gills sure. Sure, sure. But has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? Well... I mean, only once. It's because of that Gart guy riding my ass. The system is broken. There's a market for corrupt cops out there, but the immigrant cops have price dumped it. Fucking taxes, man. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I so poor? Because of the taxes, G-Man's got his jam-covered sticky fingers in your pocket, stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, or so much as sneeze. Ble bleeding nipples are kind of a pain, but how will deregulation help with that? Opt-in, but only a little. It's all about the tax issue, Hustler. No other problem in the world is as pressing as the top marginal tax rates. Don't you fucking forget it. First, if you have a side bitch ideology cooking somewhere, don't sweat it. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, who's that? You're new. She looks you straight into the eye. Her right foot is tapping nervously. I can totally help you find your missing... <laughs> Years of labor pressing down on her shoulders. She deserves a hug for all the work she's done for mankind. Give her a hug. You step in and close your arms around this foreign body, wandering astray in touch. There's a small movement beneath your hands as you shut your eyes. Then a tiny voice breaks out and asks, What is happening? She seems to be confused. Your hands are wrapped around her polyester coat. The fabric feels cold, moist from the scene nearby. And meanwhile, Kim is like, What? <laughs> Keep hugging her. The situation is oddly intimate. Your cheek is pressed against her shoulder. Her hand is trapped between your chest. Five seconds pass and, this, and, their, and their passing seems so unimaginably long. Then she coughs and says again, uh, What are you doing, officer? Less talk, more feeling. Keep your eyes closed. Soak in the closeness. See what the feeling entails. Keep your eyes closed for a brief longer. I am fighting for the working class. <laughs> hey, I hug whoever I please. I'm a hug monster. Number two. Fighting for it how? She hasn't let go of your embrace yet. Hug by hug, one hug at a time. A hug a day keeps the bourgeois away. <laughs> oh, there's a strange sensation as the woman strengthens her grip. She's hugging you back. I guess it's better than nothing. Keep on, keep fighting on, my fellow comrade. She, then she breaks up the hug, her cheeks flushed. What do you mean I'm being a cockatoo? Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book at the in the bookstore. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain or your heraldic bird? Actually, that's what I'm that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thanks for the tip. What? This is a quest. Find your heraldic bird. Alright. Fuck it. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go get it. Hi, I need a book on a cockatoo. Fuck it. Hi, do you have a bird on a cockatoo? Tell me, did you find a way to break the curse? Yes, I utilized the secret methods of the remote viewers division. Yes, I called upon the spirit of Guillaume Le Million and to banish the curse in a flash of disco brilliance. Yeah, I despooked it. The curse is definitely gone. I'm afraid you, I can only identify the source. The woman nods. I understand that you can't divulge official secrets, officer, but know that I appreciate the efforts of your department. She looks at you with sudden admiration. Uh, how about a free book? All that matters is that the energies are re retreating. I can finally feel the curse lifting. It will be a long time until we fully, we're fully we fully free of it, of course, but still. Did that say a tome of fascist magic? Everyone knows the most interesting thing about fascists was their magic. This is true. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so we got, we got something. Oh, no. Oh, no. How big is this game? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. It's not that big. Yeah, but every step of the way, there's 45 minute long conversations with just people littering the street. It's going to take us three weeks just to get to fishermen's, fishermen snacks. And then another two, spend another four weeks in the church. What about this guy's a cockatoo storekeeper? It's, it's, it's a must have if you own a cockatoo, because there's so many. I've heard they're quite ca capricious. I want to buy the guide to the cockatoos. All right, here we go. 
How is this real? A cockatoo is a parrot with an erectile crest found on the Seminine Islands and in southern Face à la Mer, known for their intelligence and general pre precociousness. <laughs> Precociousness. Cockatoos are popular birds in aviculture, however, they often exhibit various behavioral issues. Where to even begin? I know, right? All cockatoos are known for their needy natures, requiring attention for at least two full hours a day. They love to talk and have been described as lovable clowns who just don't know how to wrap up. I could handle that. It would be nice to have someone to talk to when feeling lonely. Only the funeral cockatoo in its darkness can truly grasp the, the depths of my doom-laden soul. Isn't that obvious? Major Majestic, here I come. But what if I am a fuck patoo? Fuck you patoo? Fuck a patoo? A fuck up and a cockatoo. I have to say some- fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. You're right, you're a fuck a two embody. This sorry ass bird belongs on your heraldry. Herald heraldry. It probably doesn't even have feathers and only screams. Put the book away. Awesome. Awesome. Are we done? Is that it? That's it. That was a quest. <laughs> I can't look at it without laughing. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. You were right that I'm a cockatoo. She's gonna be like, what? I went and read up on them, just like you said. I even decided on what kind of cockatoo I am. Want to know? Please say no. I don't know. The most talkative one? She's ready to put that question aside. No. I'm a f- <laughs> Fuck up a two. Forget it. It's too personal. <laughs> oh my god. That is that Yusuke? Is Yusuke fuck forget it is too personal? I feel I feel like that's just classic Yus Yusuke. Oh my god. I'm going one. I wanna tell her. The what now? The fuck up a two. It's the one who always fucks everything up. No, you're not. Don't think that way, she says, slowly shaking her head. The wind brings a strand of, of hair to her rough face. You're just a regular talkative cock. Cockatoo. <laughs> Is that a mistake or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if that okay. Alright, let's move on. She doesn't want to- she doesn't want you to be the fuck up a two. Alright, leave. Alright, cool, thank you. That's the one with rods. Alright, let's go. This never- let's, she never- can never see her again. Alright, we can never see her again. Alright. Oh my god. Here we go. We're gonna fuck it up again. We're gonna die. 58%. Wait, we don't have any- we don't have any morale charges. Shh. Alan Z. As you leap in the air, a chilly breeze engulfs you, sharpening your sharpening you senses, your senses. You go play Bob O'Reilly. Close your eyes, let your senses take in the world around you. Continue the voyage through the salty air. Oh, we got healed morale! Ankles tingling from the tension, blood roaring in your ears. You are ready for your rendezvous with the concrete pavement below. Continue the voyage through the salty air. After they received their fourth game award in one day, the devs said we would like to thank Marks. Damn, legit. As the concrete floor welcomes you, you realize it's been a while since you felt so alive, alert, capable. It must must be the adrenaline. I knew you could do it, the lieutenant exclaims. My climbing down might not have been as disco as your jump, but at least we can explore the harbor. Wait, climbing down was an option? What? What? With your feet firmly planted on the concrete, the noise of the harbor rushes back in. Woo, 
Esprit de corps and shivers. Oh, nice. Look at look at us. We're fucking styling now. Disco ass ass blazer. Damn, this is just this is just this is just a straight upgrade from dis disco ass blazer. Damn, look at this. Look at the gaming we're doing right now. 100% straight upgrade. Nice. That's what we like. That's what we like. Right, did this unlock a new area? Okay, this this did not do what I thought I was going to do. I thought this was just going to open the door back to where we just we just came from. Oh, for fuck's sake, you guys. Oh my god, for fuck's sake, you guys. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. All right, here here's 10 minutes of dialogue. Because we opened a drawer, it's unfortunate for the union to just have their leave their paperwork lying around like this. And then drama shows up and is like, have a conversation with the drawer. And you're like, hey, drawer, what's up? And the drawer is like, I'm going to show you the secrets of the universe if you fucking succeed this this check. Well, tell me 5%. Oh, let's go for it. Oh, you succeeded. All right, time to do a mountain monologue. Oh, the drawer's head. The, the, the drawer fucking flaps open like it's talking to you and you start to see smoke. Kim, you seeing this? He doesn't, talk, it doesn't answer you. I think the spookiest part of the game so far has been... When, when we used the intercom and it was a recording. I thought that was pretty spooky. I wonder if that's going to mean something later on. I hope so. That was spooky. Spooky. A wrestling control panel with several knobs, two buttons marked Alumer and Etendri e e are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above and a container is attached to its hook block. Alumer on, a tendre off. Let's just fucking press buttons, why not? With a loud grind, the crane shifts overhead, moving a massive metal container through the air. Cool. This is fine. This is fine. And with surprisingly quiet thunk. Yeah, that was quiet. The crane pr places the container down. Wow, this 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 just keeps going. The shipyard ahead is hardly quiet. This just keeps going. All right, what if we turn it off? Oh, someone partied really, really hard here. Was it me? Wait, how hard did it? <laughs> well, they went through six bottles of po potent pilsner, three three bottles of Commodore Red, and almost four packs of cigarettes. They must, they must have been pretty hard. Did I do this? Well, the lieutenant looks at you and then the bottles. Yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that, that it was you. Why do you take that picture of Renee? The lieutenant asks, glancing at the photo. I'm making an artistic photo collage. Oh, real art degree, here we come. Of course you are, he says matter-of-factly. What murder investigation would be complete without an arbitrary photo collage? Have a seat, rest. Why does art inspire you? Oh, are we in? Chat. Chat. Chat, are we in? Why does art inspire you so much? It does, yes, but what is art? Excellent question. Art is a diverse range of visual, art, literary, auditory, and performative creativity. It's an expression of imagination and technical skill. Additionally, it's, hist his it's history, criticism, and pure enjoyment. In short, art is the highest form of human communication, representation, narrative, emotion, and agency intertwined. It's a shame video games don't fit into that. Would I fit into the art world? I mean, have you looked in the mirror lately? You have the exact features of a savage art critic with that beard and those clothes, disheveled and prophetic. <laughs> Perhaps you should try to, to critique, critique architecture too. Nah, just video games. Hold on. Is architecture also art? Of course not. It's... <sighs> Autism? Of course not. It's autism? I don't know that word. Box drawing, masturbation with a ruler and a, s and a sextant and, or whatever they use. You should demean and criticize the genteel institution of architecture while extolling the virtues of pure arts. Wait, what about music? Is it art? Only the most experimental kind. <laughs> I guess I have been feeling critical lately. Yes, you seek substance, no vapid representations and reproductions of social mores as made manifest in stuffy bi biennials. We're talking real living art here. Become the art cop. Half art critic, half cop. It's happening. It's happening. Actual art degree, it's happening. Yeah, it's another copotype. The worst one. <laughs> I thought art cop would be like you're still a cop but you're artistic about it not not you're a cop for art the most savage and brutal the art cop nothing is good enough for him. everything is 
shit. <laughs> Do you know how many people actually think this is me for video games? Do you have any idea how, how, how many people think this is actually how I am for video games? You have to employ an armada of adjectives to depict and demean the mediocrity of the works and visual institutions from Nintendo. Really flex that critical muscle until the vocabulary for punishing mediocrity becomes second nature. Here we go. Perception can <laughs> Look at the shit. <laughs> all right, we need four. This is this is all I want now. We have to get these four. I have I have to get this is all I want. The pure Yusuke line has begun. Both art and cop. Here we go. Actual art degree. Right now, we can't even look at the shit. Art cop arc has begun. Who the fuck are you? Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. Nope. When are you going to start singing Snow Halation? The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. Oh man, if we were Art Cough, we could criticize this shitty song. No, I want to, can we reload and come back when we have fucking Art Cough? I kind of want to save Scum. Chat, should we save Scum? I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. I, th I think that we could criticize his, his, his fucking, his shitty song. You have nowhere to go, you can't get out? What if there's a way? What if we just talk to talk to Kim for a while? We can read our cases, yeah! We can read our cases! It takes half an hour for to read a case, and, and it take, it's 90 minutes to get it. Son of a bitch, I'm in. Actual art degree. Okay, so it takes, it takes an hour and, and 30 minutes. All right, here we go. Okay, read a case file. All right, the square bullet hole murders. It would be very interesting to read about these, wouldn't it? I mean, there seems to be a square-shaped entry wound in the victim's forehead. She's been sitting there for weeks on her rocking chair with a square hole in her skull staring at the wall, her mouth agape. But that's all you got from the half hour you spent piecing it together. All you know is the entry wound was square-shaped. You never found the bullet. And then another body showed up also with a square hole in, in his forehead, a sequence killer. Who knows? Those pages are, are missing. What next? Don't worry, one day. Oh no! Oh, it, it, it progressed time. Alright, did it work? <sighs> We're in. We're in. We're in. Alright. One day you may still catch the man with the square gun. The couch is in, in, the couch in an unexpected location. <laughs> Alright. 26 minutes! Look at that epic, epic, merle, trite, contrived, mediocre. Milk toast, amateurish, infantile, cliche, and gonorrhea ridden pan to conformism. I fucked me. A Affront <laughs> to humanity. War crime. Should literally be tried for war crimes. Resoutly shit. Lacking in imagination. Uninformed reimagining of. limp wristed Premature. Ill-informed attempt at. Talentless fuckfest. <laughs> recidivistic. Shit, peddl shit peddler. Pedantic. Listless. Savagely boring. Just one repulsive laugh after another. And more are how I would describe my time with Super Mario Odyssey. Minus one hand eye coordination, handshake from anger. How shit! <laughs> oh, Was that worth it? Let's see. Will we criticize this guy's song? Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please, please. 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 Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. What was that criticism? Was that different? The tiny man is so engaged in his work he doesn't notice you. Hi. Everett, Everett, Everett. He looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. He smiles. How can I help you, master? Wait, do we get 10 XP for every single time conceptualization shows up? Because if that's the case, holy shit balls. Really? Oh my god. We're gonna be swimming in statues. Oh man. We just metagame the fuck out of this with art degree. The Witcher video is melting through my brain and I forget so much during s stream breaks. 
drama. Ooh, method acting, <laughs> conceptualization, a common problem with long story games. Twisted into an immersion enhancer. Completionism, open the drawer, open your mind. Maybe can maybe I contain the game's best scene. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ironic weaver snowrish. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Merrick. Just wanna just wanna point out real quick. Just wanna point out real quick that we're um how many how many streams are we? We're 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 five streams into this game, and I just I don't wanna I don't wanna worry anybody, but um we haven't got a Chan. There's no Chan. Uh, All right, Mr. Dubois, Take a seat. I can see that you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men, reasonable men can be of great use to one another. He gives you a sly wink. Kim, are you gonna sit down in the other chair or no? Remain serious. Try to wink back. Damn, this chair is uncomfortable. So tell me. Are we gonna die from sitting in this chair? You say you've got this, but you seem a little anxious to me. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. So we're Harry Dubois? It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Surprisingly close. God, you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. You're about to cry, aren't you? You're about to cry because you lost your gun and those children are going to shoot themselves with it. No, I'm not about to cry. Try to stay cool. So what? Men can cry too. No, I'm not about to cry. Mr. Dubois, you don't look so good. Mr. Dubois! Harry! The large man snaps his fingers, but to no effect, you're in some stupor. Keep sliding down the chair like a jello shot. There are no Harrys. Let your mind go to your safe place. Mr. Dubois, are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water or something? Are you having some kind of medical emergency? Maybe you could use your hand somehow in a kind of throwing motion, like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois rack right back at him. Nah, he's Mr. Dubois. Nah, I'm as good as it gets, Mr. Dubois. Vaguely gesture with your hands above your head. Oh yeah, man, I'm fucking great. Keep sliding. Actually, this chair is uncomfortable. I could use that glass of water. Sip upright. I'm melting. Let's dispatch with the formalities. You call me Everett, I call you Harry. That's what the hang corpse called you, Harry. So that's really my name. My God, it's... So it's true, I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? He shrugs with an amazed expression. What are the odds of that? I think the odds of that, he looks at you, are very low. Hmm. I wonder if Kim is start is, is starting or has started a while ago to think that we got into some some serious shit and that we 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 need his protection. Like we've been tampered with or something. Do you know anything about my family? Do I have a wife or kids or family? Harry, you're not a family man. That's, there's not one peep of family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you strike yourself as a family man, Harry? You're right, I don't. I think I do. I'd be a wonderful father. Never mind the family too. Well, yes, he looks around uninterested. I'm sure you're going to make one little boy or, or a girl very happy and, and proud one day, Harry. What kind of cop does it say I am? Art cop. Well, Harry, he turns a couple pages in the folder. If... I were to sum you up in one word, it would be apologetic. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he inspects you over his giant bug eye glasses. You seem to be a lot, of, a lot of the time. But right now, there's no reason to be. Let let loose a little. Be you. What happened to the previous negotiator, Mr. Gaumont? What do you mean, Harry? The big man sounds annoyed. Nothing. I let him go. He made concessions for the company in previous negotiations. Why would you let an ally go like that? He's an old man, Harry. I wanted him to spend more time with his family. He looks down and sighs. God knows how long he's got left. You called him a midget. <laughs> That's right, he did. That's so blunt. What the fuck? Vanished. Harry, the woman left her casserole in the oven and couldn't make it here in time for the voting. Oh, did I leave my casserole on? Better go home and check. The election can wait. The man frowns disapprovingly. When she got back, the whole thing was over. Wait, there's there was no mention of a casserole from Joyce. Funny, Joyce didn't mention any casserole. <laughs> Harry, Harry, Harry! He flicks his fingers. Do not fixate on this little matter. Maybe it was a rabbit stew or a hair dryer or an iron. The point is, her heart wasn't in it. Mine was. Harry, you smooth-talking son of a bitch. 
<laughs> he says in the fondest of smiles. Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to count containers with you. Smooth talking. Maybe that's the way to go about opening the container. You should at least at least try convincing it. Everard, I'm going to leave now, but we might talk again later. Leave. 